finally, J-Rock has come back to you too. What is happening in Hanny with the millions? And millions of J-Rock fans from all over the world, you're right here with J-Rock. Oh, and J-Rock is here because we had ourselves a little Marvel's, uh, Marvel's Avenger presentation, if you will. I guess it's about the beta that's going to be dropping here uh, next couple of weeks. And so they were giving us some information about that. So, um, yeah, we're going to look at this thing. We're going to check this thing out. Make sure that you go look on the left-hand side uh, or at the bottom if you're using the app under subscription so you can keep up with my videos or whatnot. I know sometimes that the... Uh, the bell indicator it's it's hit and miss sometimes it'll let you know just like that and sometimes it won't tell you for another couple of days so make sure you check in on that periodically to make sure uh, that you're keeping up with our videos all right but let's check this thing out shall we If you just this. watched Square Enix and Crystal Dynamics Avengers War Table stream, we actually got a lot of gameplay. We got a lot more information than anyone was ever expecting. Modok was announced as the villain. Aim help you. What? That's a hundred percent Modok. Oh, it's Modok. I also like that they're taking Modoc. a step beyond the MCU movies, where it's like, hey, here's uh, Modok. Here's Aim. Like, that's exciting to me. That we're not just fighting Ultron again. Dude, this is crazy. So each mission is going to be based on that certain Avenger. There is a lot, a lot to this game. Customization, skills. The many customization options, play how you want to with each character. I like the idea of my, you know, Black Widow will handle differently than someone else's Black Widow. You need a robust customization system. And I do think that that is what this game is going for. I'm in. Mean, like, this looks awesome. I want to play this. I want to get into this. The thing that seemed the coolest about this across ah. the board was just the breadth of modes you could get into. I didn't know we were getting so much from this live stream. This is crazy. Co op and war zone. Online co op, it's going down. What speaks to me is the amount of characters in this, the amount of like references and hidden things, costumes. There's too much. I can't even process all this right now. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> Welcome to the July Marvel's Avengers War Table. First off, a huge thank you to everyone who joined our first Marvel's Avengers War Table last month. And extra thanks as well for telling us what you like and what you want to see in future shows. We are reading your posts and comments, so please keep them coming. Since then, what we've heard from you most, other than where's Hawkeye, is when's the beta? We'll start with breaking down everything you need to know about the beta. Then, we'll share a glimpse at how our game will expand after launch, starting with our first post-launch hero, and we'll have a few surprises along the way. This is beta. I don't know if I'm gonna play the beta. Only because when I play beta, it just it irritates me that I can't play the full game. Like it just ticks me off. Like I want more, but I can't get more right now because so it's irritating. So I don't know. I might play it. I don't know. The beta opens with the entire Golden Gate Bridge demo, dropping players into the middle of the chain of events that led to the 8 day disaster. This is 25 minutes of gameplay and a great introduction to how each hero plays and how combat and traversal work. 
we built the Golden Gate Bridge sequence to be this roller coaster ride of an experience with huge set pieces, tons of combat and traversal, and a Taskmaster boss battle. It's yeah. also a chance to try out many of each of the hero's special combos, heroics, and specific moves. From there, the beta starts to open up just like the full game does, giving you new single-player hero missions and eventually single-player or co-op war zones to discover. Hmm. As Kamala and Hulk Eel traveled to the dense forests of the American Pacific Northwest on the trail of the Olympia Archive, the last known location of Jarvis, this is another example of a hero mission showcasing Hulk's destructive capabilities. Later, you'll take the Quinjet to a remote war zone in the frozen Russian tundra called Missing Links to uncover shield secrets hidden deep underground. We chose these missions for the beta because they feature a diverse mix of locales, from wide open spaces for you to bound through and explore, to underground aim complexes bristling with high-tech security at some, let's just say, smashable interiors. You can expect heavy resistance whichever beta missions you play including a showdown with Abomination. What you got there, Cricket? You should test everything that you've learned Whoa. so far. It was really important for us to create a beta with a variety of experiences that show off the epic scale of the game. So these missions give you a look into the world of our story and our characters, which sees a young Kamala Khan stepping up against Aim, to reassemble Earth's mightiest heroes when the world needs them the most. Looking sharp, guys. Combined, the Golden Gate Bridge sequence and these hero story missions make for an already good-sized beta. But because Marvel's Avengers is all about the team, we knew that we needed to give you even more than that. Once you complete the single-player story content, you'll have four different heroes to choose from to play in some great war zones and harm rooms that we've handpicked for the beta. Just the four. They are Iron Man, Kamala Khan, Black Widow, and Hulk. Ah, oh, where's Thor at? And that means you don't have to pick just one. You can play them all. As you progress through the beta, you are given access oh, to the Helicarrier, see, this Jarvis, is why I don't like and the War Table, beta. where you can play four-player co-op in three different types of missions. Harm rooms. Why do they got a fourth Camilla Khan down our throat, man? And drop zones. Let's start with harm rooms. Our holographic augmented reality machine rooms, or harm rooms for short, are virtual training simulators where heroes can take on waves of increasingly difficult enemies either solo with a team of companion AI, or with up to four live players. You begin in the Harm Room Training Mission, which runs you through the paces of learning to control a hero. From there, you unlock three Harm Challenge Rooms to test your teamwork. Bring your best hero build to see if you have what it takes to complete all three. Harm Challenge Rooms are a great place to hone your combat skills both individually and as a team. While anyone can play the game, you'll need to focus and work together to make it into the most elite spaces. How many can you and your team complete? You can track your progress, and once you finish, you earn a nameplate that carries over to the full retail version of the game, showing that you not only played in the beta, you excel. Once you reach this point in the beta and have an operational war table, you can also go online and tackle a series of war zone and drop zone missions. We talked a lot about co-op and war zones in the first Marvel's Avengers war table. But to recap, war zones are missions you can play with up to four heroes you've unlocked as companion AI with three other players or a mix of both. There are five beta war zones to play and a wide variety of aim enemies to take down, including a range of human and robotic foes. The first thing you notice is how each hero's traversal is true to the hero. Flyers like Iron Man approach from the air with Hulk picking up momentum as he bounds forward. Kamala and Black Widow may be on foot, but they both have unique traversal abilities to grapple and swing, throwing themselves in the air and even changing That's together cool swings to increase Black speed Widow. and cover just... greater distances. I haven't even played the game, and I'm already sick in your of upper left heads up display, but that's just telling you half the information. I'm already Turn sick of her, man. To see everything that's available to do in a mission. For instance, that right there is what we call a POI, or point of interest. 
This POI is a bunker. Bunkers usually have small environmental puzzles that unlock a door once they're solved, and there are usually goodies inside like gear, resources, and also collectible comics. Cool. Missions on the war table can take as short as 10 minutes and as long as two hours. Damn. Trap zones are among the smaller, more focused versions of war zones, and they almost like always have a single story. objective. The beta drop zones are designed to let you and your team drop in for a single hit and run encounter, and in the full game, they're great for earning gear or leveling heroes. Whether you play with friends or with your companion AI team, you get in, you get out, and you're done. Nice work. We built the beta to let you sample many of the different types of gameplay and systems that you'll find in a full game. The beta includes missions built for different players and power levels. And as you build your heroes, you will find that you can take on increasingly ambitious missions. Progression is one of the main systems in the full game, and the beta delivers a taste for earning experience and leveling up your Avengers. In the beta, you'll have access to one of three starting skill pages for each hero. The others open up when the game launches. As you earn experience, you level up, and each level grants you a skill point. You spend these to unlock skills and shape what each of your Avengers can do. In our first Marvel's Avengers War Table, we talked about heroics and ultimates. And yeah, it is. There it is. The Hulkbuster is Iron Man's ultimate, and you can use it in the beta. Right cool. off the bat, you'll see it as a All right. powerhouse. That of might give me to play the beta. Power. That right there might Hulk give me to play. Hulkbuster comes equipped with rocket propelled melee attack combos and overpowering dash attacks that can literally sweep enemies off the battlefield. You can access Hulkbuster's rocket propelled punches, rocket propelled gauntlet cannon. Damn. including an extra powerful repulsor blast and leap and slam attack and the ability okay. to sustain tons of damage okay there are also some alternate deployment methods i will leave that to you to discover in the beta Is it over? you will also earn gear as you play and as you level up you'll have access to better gear with more powerful perks and that is just in the beta in the full game, you have three skill pages and extensive gear to dial in your perfect playstyle and build out your Avengers roster to play your way. Speaking of your roster, during your first Marvel's Avengers War Table, we mentioned that playing with your companion AI was a great alternative if you prefer your superhero game solo. But there's a very good reason why we like them so much. These are your heroes playing alongside you on your team that you've unlocked and you are leveling. So let's say you start the mission as the I ain't feeling that look for hope. The game then adds your well, good damn well, they don't make suits that big. Your Black Widow. Your Kamala to your party. The heroes in your party are using the skills that you've unlocked and the gear that you've equipped. But you can then mix and match to create a tailor-made party composition that plays the way that you want to play. Okay. This is a great way for a solo player to play as a team in the full game and in the beta. Team composition matters in Marvel's Avengers. Building out a team with pure or hybrid melee and ranged builds allows you to do a lot more with what you have. This was a quick overview of the beta. It is a big experience with more than 20 combined co-op and single player missions and four heroes with a small taste of the customizations, outfits and upgrades and even some secrets you'll have to discover by yourself. Abomination. Hope Buster. Hope Buster might get me to actually play the beta. I'm not even gonna lie. But why is... Uh, Thor, man. I want to play as Thor. From He's the very the start, one we plan Marvel's Avengers as an experience that grows with you as you play. The heart and soul of that is each and Avenger, got and as fans either? ourselves, we've handpicked some of our and your favorite heroes to join the team after launch. Heroes like this. What heroes might that be? To any surviving Avengers. Should we lose the fight ahead of us? Oh, okay. There he is. Should everything be lost, then know this. Okay. Okay. The 
key to saving our future lies in the past. Clint? Well, I guess that explains the shock arrow. I like that look. Okay, I can see, I can go with that look. Emotions. That's a nice look right there for Hawkeye. I know they weren't gonna use the one from the movies for you know copyright reasons. You asked for him, and we're thrilled to bring him to you. When we started working on Hawkeye, the first thing we did was find the best comics and pull ideas that would fit into our post a day universe. Word. One of our favorite runs is writer Matt Fraction and artist David Ajaz's My Life as a Weapon. And we've taken some exciting ideas from it. So much so that Hawkeye has his own in-depth story mission chain. And it is unique from the main campaign because it can be played in co-op or solo, whichever you prefer. Hawkeye is your first look at how the expanding world of Marvel's Avengers continues to like grow after launch. I like that look for Hawkeye right there. The Reassemble campaign is the story of Kamala reuniting the Avengers against the current aim threat. On top of that, you get six heroes with a game at launch, each with skills to upgrade, gear, and outfits to earn and unlock. But after that, you enter the ever-present Avengers Initiative. This is where you extend the experience as the Avengers protect so I'm Earth from one of my, all threats and incursions. Both the ones coming on day one, and where new heroes, new missions, Falcon. new regions are all accessible with your entire team roster, either solo, with AI heroes, or online mm. with other players. I want to say War Machine, but I don't know. August is Marvel's Avengers beta month. We are ready and eager to play alongside you throughout August in the lead up to launch on September 4th. As you play, you generate tons of feedback for us to improve the tuning and playability, and we learn more about what else we can do as we grow this game's world to be the superhero fantasy you've dreamed of living. That's why we can't wait for you to get started and play what we've been playing. When you get your hands on the beta yourselves, dive into the story, jump online and play with friends, all starting on August 7th through 9th on PlayStation 4 and PC and Xbox starting August 14th. The beta is meaty, but it's only a small part of the finished game. Enjoy a full-length campaign, more than 80 war zones, more than 50 enemy types, new configurations of harm rooms and challenges updated regularly, and even more later game mission types that we haven't even revealed yet, such as hives and boss layers. The longer that you play the game, the more it grows and evolves as we add new characters like Hawkeye and new story content and regions, all at no additional cost. Oh, and one more thing. We're also excited to reveal that we're working with Epic Games and the Fortnite team. So when you finish the Marvel's Avengers beta, oh. you will earn the Hulk Smasher's pickaxe with bonus Hulk Buster style in Fortnite. For more details, visit Fortnite.com. Thank you for joining us for another Marvel's Avengers War Table. We'll be back with more news and probably some more surprises before then. Thank you so much. And we'll see you in the beta. Jerox says this. I was a little iffy on whether or not I was going to play the beta. However, I think they sold J-Rock with the Hulk Buster. Now, J-Rock is not too pleased that they are shoving Kamala Khan down the people's gullet. J-Rock don't like that. Why the hell? First of all, Jabronis, you must know, coming off of four of the most successful action-packed superhero movies that this world has ever seen, nowhere in any one of those four movies did we have Kamala Khan. I get she may be prevalent in the comics. J-Rock don't care about that. You know good and hell well that the majority of people, or, or a lot of the people, are mainly thinking about the movies. And here you bring up this Rudy Poo candy ass Kamala Khan, and you're shoving her down our throats in the beta? J-Rock don't give a damn about no Kamala Khan. J-Rock says this, she can take her long arm twist it up into a knot, turn that some bit sideways, and stick it straight up her candy ass. J-Rock wants Thor. J-Rock wants Hulk. J-Rock wants Cap. J-Rock wants Iron Man. J-Rock wants uh, 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 Black Widow. 
You don't want no damn Kamala Khan. Zerog wants Hawkeye. The other Avengers that might be released later on, hey, it might be Ant-Man, it might be Captain Marvel, it might be War Machine, they may have a Spider-Man sighting, who knows? Doctor Strange might show up. You don't know. That, I can't wait to check out for myself to see. And I'm good that they're releasing it along with the game and not as a DLC where you gotta pay an extra 19, 20, 30, 50, 11 dollars just to get it. But J-Rock says this, he is sick of Kamala Khan already. He ain't even played the damn game. That was my biggest concern when it came to this game. How much is are they gonna shove her down our throat? And from the looks of it, it's gonna be a whole lot. They don't even have Thor in the damn uh, beta. They don't have Cap in the damn beta. The six main Avengers that J-Rock wants to see. Five or six. Oh, it doesn't matter what it is. The only thing that matters is that J-Rock don't want no Kamala Khan. Put her in some damn cutscenes, but damn it, I don't want to play with her. Especially not in the beta. That's enough ranting for that. This game looks good. Doesn't look perfect. It looks good. I've seen worse, or I've seen better. All I can say is that I hope this game is going to be 60 frames a second. I'm just tired of this candy ass 30 frames per second. Come on, step your game up, people. We're in a new day and it's a new age, and we need updated technology. We'll have to wait and see. Now, do you want me to play the game? Do you guys want to need to upload the recordings or what? Let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll decide whether or not I'm going to do it. Post your comments down below and let J Rock know what you thought of this video. No line intended on that line. And if you appreciate it and enjoy the great one's reaction to it, that like button, subscribe, and share. Also, any video requests, put it on the People's Facebook fan page or in the comment section down below, either or. And if I pick your video, J Rock will give you a shout out right here on the People's channel. Lastly, hit that bell so that you can be notified that it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J Rock. Till we meet again. Mamba and GG. Forever. If you smell la, 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 what J Rock is cooking.